Is it tricky to understand if Ukraine girls are into you for the right reasons or not? Is it a little bit tricky to discern? It's better to have somebody like a, a wingman, a coach, to help you along that acts genuinely interested in helping you cut through all the BS. So Brad, how about we talk now about your experience with uh, Katerina? Okay. And the reason I think this is a good clip to talk to guys about is um, I think there's a good lesson to be learned here, if you don't mind. We talked about it a little sure. bit off camera. Sure. Um, she's the youngest lady that you dated, right? Correct. 28. 28. Uh, very lovely lady, very beautiful. Um, and what's your thought about her and maybe share with what happened when on the second date with her and let's just kind of analyze this uh, <clears throat> because I think there's a big takeaway for guys out there I think she's a, a good girl I really do I think she has a distorted view of uh, uh, you know Westerners or, Amer or American men maybe um, yeah. Uh, I think deep down inside that she's an, she's an overall good girl. But um, on the second date, we went to uh, she's. I let her pick the restaurant, and uh, our lunch ended up being one hundred and forty dollars. Right, and that's and, a bit uh, dear. Uh, you know, it's a bit expensive. Uh, well, it's a, uh, uh, for Ukraine, much so less. Much. I mean, like, even America. I mean. I don't know of too many guys that would spend $140 on a uh, on a lunch, mm -hmm. on a, especially on a, on a date. second date. And these guys make pretty good money for America. Yeah, yeah. So why do you think, uh, so a couple of lessons here is, guys, um, Ukraine, Ukrainian women, they are used to what Ukrainian men do. And Ukrainian men never let her choose the restaurant. Uh, they control the budget, number one. They say, okay, we're going here for dinner. They don't even ask her if that's okay. Uh, that's what they're used to here. I know in the West, we want to be gentlemen. In the West, we ask the lady, where would you like to go for dinner? Here, the, uh, the women actually don't like that. They perceive that to be like, mm, well, the guy can't even choose where we're going for dinner. How can he you know, how can I entrust him with our future, with decisions, uh, with the family, if he can't even decide where to go for dinner? That's what they're thinking here. It's the complete opposite. Uh, and so that's the one aspect of it that guys need to know. And the other thing is, uh, then you open yourself up to be taken to $140 oh, yeah. lunch. Yeah. Uh, and, you, and so there's two lessons in there uh, for guys. So why do you think it was, if you think she's a good girl, why do you think it might be that she took you to such an expensive restaurant for lunch? She could have been testing me to see what my financial means are. That's what I think. Yeah. And, and you, you're spot on. She could be testing you because some of these ladies have dated before and Let's be straight up and serious about this. There's two predominant reasons Ukraine women come, good girls, mm -hmm. come into our agency. Uh, one, the first that we look for is that we look for a girl that's sincere about wanting to settle down, have a family, mm -hmm. and have a good husband. And what, is that, what does a good husband mean to her? It means a strong man. It's number one if you ask Ukraine women. What does a strong man mean? He, he can make decisions. He's reliable. Uh, she can trust him, uh, but there's a big financial component to that. Uh, he can take care of her and the family mm -hmm. um, because she wants to have kids, and you're looking at having uh, children. I'd like to have another child. Right, yes. right. Mm -hmm. So that's a big component of it. So it, it, it can be a test, mm -hmm. and often these ladies will test you if you allow them. Right, uh, I, I did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. So many takeaway lessons here. And Brad, let's talk about the third and kind of the toughest le lesson for, for, okay. for, for guys, okay? Um, we spoke about this off camera. She's mm -hmm. 28 and you are how, how many years young? Uh, 47. 47. So we got a, you know, um, quite an age gap there, 19-year mm -hmm. age gap. Right. And um, that, that's a bit outside what we call zone of success, 10 to 15 years mm -hmm. here at Match Guarantee. And that's... That's based on Tetiana's 16 years mm -hmm. as one of the most successful private matchmakers in Ukraine. So she sees the relationships that end up in a good marriage and the ones that 
disintegrate over time. Mm -hmm. Two types of fishing here in Ukraine. There's catch and keep, and there's catch and release. <laughs> right. And I would put her in the category of, you know, catch and release. You know, you might be able to catch her, mm -hmm. but um, your chance, just the way that, I guess the best way to say it is your chances of keeping her, of taking this relationship to fruition and getting married and having a happy, long-term, sustained marriage, it's just higher risk. Much no, higher I can risk. see why. Can see why? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it all depends what you want as a client, right? If you, right. If you want something to stand the test of time, mm -hmm. then she's really high risk for you. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. Uh, <laughs> what do you think? What do you think I agree. About, about that? I essence? agree. Yeah. He's a good coach. <laughs> and so is Tatiana and all the ladies in the office. They're awesome coaches. Thanks, Brad. And because the tricky part of this journey that you're on is that you can have somebody like Katarina. You, 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 mm -hmm. it, it's possible. I've seen it. I've seen it. Uh, I've experienced it. And, and it can be real. It's mm -hmm. possible. But you come here for a short time. You know, you don't live here. If a person lives here, it's a very different situation because you, you have more time on your hands mm -hmm. to test a relationship, to give that relationship um, the ground it really needs to nurture it and experience it fully, experience her fully. But you come for a short time, 10 days, two weeks. All right. And you've got, to, uh, you, you, you've got a big job on your hands, you know, in terms of a short period of time. And then you've got to go home and test a relationship over the long distance phase, which is another difficult phase, after maybe it, a couple of dates. I think it's more difficult than, than coming over here. It's the, when you go back home to see if, if the spark you know, remains. Right, and, yeah. and, and let's put, put it in perspective. We're talking about a spark that has incubated mm -hmm. for two dates, right. maybe three dates. Exactly. What's that? Like if you're back home and you go on three dates, what's that? Nothing. Nothing. No. But, yet, but yet you're expecting this relationship to now withstand many months of long distance. Right. You know, putting it in perspective. Mm -hmm. But now the good thing is Ukraine woman is very serious. She's very loyal. Like uh, three dates back home, like you just said, means nothing. The girl's going to wait for you if you go away for three months? Oh, no. Back home? Probably, no, I doubt it. <laughs> but here they will. Here they will. If they perceive you to be serious, mm -hmm. sincere, and they see the potential of a future with you, they mm -hmm. will wait, with you, wait for you, the good girl here, much more so than, uh, in my opinion, in any other Western country. Right. Is it tricky to understand if Ukraine girls are into you for the right reasons or not? Is it a little bit tricky to discern? Uh, it is. Uh -huh. Yeah, it, it so is. So you have to be careful. Yeah, you have to be careful. I mean, you'd, even though I've had uh, really good chemistry with a couple, well, several of the ladies in my perception, that uh, you, you still got it in the back of your mind that what is their true intention. I mean, it's just human nature. Yeah. And on this point, let's talk mm -hmm. about, because this is why at Mass Guarantee, you have your own personal coach, your wingman, as we call right. it. Right. A guy that truly cares about your success, myself mm -hmm. and other coaches like Colin. You met, you originally mm -hmm. onboarded with Colin, right. uh, our Australian bloke. And, and, <laughs> and what did you think about Colin? And what did you think about, how do you feel about, our interest in, genuine interest in your success? Uh, I think uh, he has a very high interest. Uh, we're both uh, military. He was in the Australian Army, and I'm in our reserve force. And uh, we hit it off immediately because of that. And he's just a down-to-earth guy, just like an American military, you know, bud is back home. So we just kind of, uh, you know, had really easy conversations, and um, he could cut right to the chase and not worry about hurting my feelings, you know. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I have a good time talking to old Colin. <laughs> <laughs> and I miss him. I haven't talked to him in a while. <laughs> right, right. And. How important do you think it is uh, on this point of being able to tell if, if she's really into you for the right reasons? How important it, is it to have a wingman or a coach on this journey? Very important. I mean, I feel quite stupid for not having one before. I had to do all mine, like Googling internet articles and things like that. And I mean, you just get overwhelmed with it. One says this, another says this, one says this. I mean, it's better to have somebody like, like a, a, a boutique agency, um, a wingman, a coach to help you along that acts genuinely interested in helping you cut through all the BS.
and yeah. figure these ladies out. Yeah. Right? And help yeah. you with your final choice of ladies. Because you have right. quite a choice, right? Oh, yeah, I got a big choice. You got to choose wisely. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks, Brad. I appreciate the vote of confidence for Mass Guarantee. Uh, you're welcome. That's much deserved. Well, thank you. Thank you, sir. And, uh, you know, I know you will be successful, and I, I see you making a lot of smart, wise moves. Uh, like, for example, with Katerina and, and your choices, your top two choices, I think you have at least one, uh, at least one, if not two, very genuine, both Elaine and I feel genuine ladies. And now enjoy the journey. You know, yeah. you're going to go home and uh, correspond probably with both of them, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Yeah, and, and that's fine. That's a good move, I think, because, you know, one of those might fizzle out. Uh, right. Chances are one of those fizzles out because it does happen with clients. Mm -hmm. You go home and it's a tough second phase, the long distance phase. You're going to come back in how many months? Uh, hopefully in April, May, or June. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a couple. I'll two, find three. out here pretty soon. Yeah, a couple, two, three months, which yeah. is a good amount of time. You know, it's a, another good point, guys. That you, this is a journey. You have to come back and water the flower. Right. <laughs> you can't just have here and pluck it. Right. Take exactly. it out with, with you. <laughs> you know, you have to earn her trust now. That's the next phase. She has mm -hmm. to trust you, uh, and then you'll come back again and deepen the relationship. And uh, and then maybe on the third trip, maybe she'll say yes to coming and visiting you. Mm -hmm. You know, because the truth is, uh, almost all ladies that marry our client end up coming to your country and meeting your family and friends because she really wants to see how you live and, mm -hmm. and, and feel how life is going to be with you and, you, mm -hmm. and how her future is going to be. Yeah. Yeah. So good luck and thanks, thanks again for talking to me. Thank you.